everyone. In this episode, I will show you how to create the custom-made colorful squares for your cases. This with a custom field, case age, it will help you visually determine whether it's in a danger zone, red, whether, whether your case age is uh, between uh, between zero and 10, yellow or amber, and uh, whether you're completely fine and your case age is below 10, 10 days. And uh, let me just quickly share with my... Now I'll be using our uh, case object uh, as I want to color code or add the colored squares and cases. And uh, in my user interface, I'll be using service console. Now, what I will do now is to, I will just create a, a custom field. Uh, it's going to be called case age, and that's going to be a custom number field. And the, I'll just click next and it's going to be case age. And uh, the second field is going to be a formula field that will create a colored square in cases. And I'll just name it case age status, put it here. And the outcome will be text, text field. I'll just click next and I'll write a formula in here. And the, it should be, the formula will be if, and our new field case age. is greater than 20 days. Then I have, have already prepared the image and you don't have to upload any image. It is already in Salesforce. It is already in the platform available. So you can just copy paste. I will leave this formula in the description below and uh, you can copy paste it and you can test it in your environment as well. So if the case age is above 20, then show it red. greater than 10, then I would like to flag it as a yellow square. So I will just go ahead and I will copy this image and uh, paste it. I will just change this to yellow. Outcome. It's just a green square, meaning that everything is alright and our case is not in our any danger zone. Now, what the formula means in the first, first row, first two rows, if the case age is above 20, to show 
red square that you will see shortly. And these are the, it's a 30 by 30 square. If the case age is, uh, is um, over 10, then to show yellow square and as well, 30 by 30. And the rest should be green, green square. And I will show it to you. I'll just check the syntax if just make sure the formula is correct. And we have no errors, syntax is right. And I'll just go ahead and save this. So visually, your users should notice if their cases are, are above um, certain days, and this will flag it. As you can even use flags as well for this, for this um, purpose. And uh, I'm going to the user interface, refreshing the page. And let's just, let's see our result. All right, so this is the square I was talking about, case age status. Visually, you're opening the case and you can see that it is green. Um, it is not in any danger zone. It's not yellow. It's not red. And uh, this is the, it depends on the case age field, custom field that you can later automate. Um, I was thinking based on daytime closed and daytime opened. So you can automate the process for this. But in this, quick video will just show you how the color will change. Let's say the case age is um, 11 days. And now this should change to a yellow square right here. And if the case is open for over 30 days, let's say it's been 35 days, then our square will turn red indicating a warning uh, that you should act on the case that has been open for way too long. And if you go back again, and it's been open only for two days, you save the field and it is green. And of course, you would simply automate the case age field. You, you wouldn't change the date, um, the number every day manually. That would be just too much. And this is pretty much it. You just quickly automate this process for the purpose of this video. Just go, click new, find formulas. And uh, this is going to be a number field. And I'll write, maybe it's in here. Case age, and I will name it case age two. Now this is going to be a formula with zero decimal places. Click next and in advanced formulas. Now if, If closed date is blank. Let me go. I don't know. 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 Let me go. So 
Well, the formula says that if close date is blank, and uh, here, if close date is blank, then count open date, then count today, uh, minus the created date. So open date or created date. Uh, or else, close date minus created date. So it will simply, sh it should show us the number of days case has been opened. And when it's closed, then simply for how many, for how long, for how many days has the case been opened in total. And I will save this formula and we will just test it. Let's see, and let's test it. I have found one of my older cases, probably I was just using it for some example, and I can see that the formula field case age is showing 30 days. Now this should be, yes, this is definitely formula field that I have just created as I have two case age fields, but this will be the formula field. And uh, it is not connected yet to the case age status. So I will go ahead and I will connect them. Case age. Now in this formula field, you all you need to do is to simply add the case age, the API name, you just need to add number two and it will it should quickly connect to our field to our new field and i will just go and check the syntax it is correct yes so the api name is very very similar to the first case age field and now since i've changed i have redirected the formula to my second field to the to the case age two now this should turn red it will be either yellow or it will be red. As it's showing that the case age is 30 days. And this is actually a very, very good case to, to look at as the number is not too big, the number is not negative. Yes. So it is proven it is 30 days and uh, the square is red. So it's showing that the case it is still open and it's, it's been opened daytime close is blank it's been open for now 30 days and you you wouldn't need to manually update the field it would pre-populate automatically in this video in this very quick video you saw how you can add a square colored square to your cases or in this case it can be any other object i was just using this for the purpose of the video and uh, with the color coding you can uh, you can tell your users where should they keep their focus on, on which cases or on which record pages and the color code. If they see that it is red, amber or green, then they can act on it. And I'm sure you can also use the fields in, in reports. Now, I haven't double checked it, but it, it, is, it should be very possible. If you can't, then you can always create row uh, level formulas for, for that reason and color code them too but I will definitely create some more videos about um, formula fields. So stick with me and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching this.